Hello, I'm Rear Admiral Bill Shannon. I'm the uh, Program Executive for Unmanned uh, Aviation and Strike Weapons. I'd like to talk to you a little bit today about the Fire Scout uh, Unmanned Helicopter. What the Fire Scout will bring uh, to the detachment will be uh, an increased level of surveillance for the battle group. It will be deploying uh, this fall ab aboard the USS McInerney and FFG uh, in support of uh, counter-drug operations. After that, it will be deployed aboard our littoral combat ships, providing intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance with its electro-optic and infrared sensors, and also uh, with its radar. So in other words, it'll be able to help the commander understand what is out there around the battle group and what out there could be a threat to the battle group. So Tim, why don't we talk a little bit about the uh, aircraft? First off, the air vehicle is taken off the Schweitzer 333. It's a common, uh, highly reliable commercial helicopter we took. It was a manned aircraft. We wanted to use that fuselage and unman the system in order to get a low cost per hour. We're still testing out Brightstar right now, but it's an EOIR uh, camera. So electrical optical, see in the day, infrared, see at night. We've taken it out to 16 kilometers, uh, been able to detect ID and classify a pleasure boat out in the bay. We feel confident that uh, Bright Star is going to be able to identify 12 inch letters uh, from upwards of uh, 11,000 feet in the air and then we'll be able to transmit that upwards of 110 miles away from uh, the ship. To get Fire Scout aboard a ship, obviously we need a high precision system. We're using UCARS. It's a UAS common automatic recovery system. Uh, essentially it's a millimeter wave radar. It tells the aircraft where it is with respect to the touchdown point. But touchdown point moves and that's one of the other problems we have with a pitching and rolling environment. The aircraft can do a horizon referenced hover. So we have accelerometers in the UCAR system that describes all the degrees of freedom the ship has. We ended up doing uh, 18 landings and they were all within 3.4 inches of one another on top of a six-foot circle. Fire Scout's fully autonomous. The pilot itself is inside the computer. It's a computer program that tells the aircraft how to go from its current state to the next state. So it will decide what angle of bank to use, how much power to increase or decrease to get that new data point. Can you talk to us a little bit about what kind of redundancy has, uh, has, been, has been developed and uh, designed into this system? The air vehicle dual redundant flight controls. Uh, we need to be able to communicate. So the aircraft has four radios, three of them in the ARC-210s, one is uh, the TCDL. So we can communicate over any one of those four in order to do the landing. UCARS, single point of failure, so we put on a second UCARS right now until we have proven the reliability of that system. Also, the ground control station uh, has two racks in it, two, uh, two consoles for operation. Primarily, we have an air vehicle operator and a mission payload operator. However, that functionality can be passed back and forth between those two workstations. So if something happens and one workstation stops operating, we can assume the air vehicle operation on the mission payload operator control station. We want to make sure that the system can suffer a casualty of some sort and still come back to the ship. So Tim, talk to us a little bit about how the control station works. We tell the aircraft where to go. We don't tell how much power to put in or how much of an angle of bank. We tell it to, to leave 1,000 feet and to go to 5,000 feet. And the uh, flight control computer, our pilot, executes that direction. We're looking forward to its first deployment in fall of 2009 aboard the USS McInerney. And then we're especially excited about its future deployments starting next year aboard the LCS and the LCS class ships. We think it's going to give our maritime commanders much better situational awareness and we're very excited about providing this product to the fleet.